I recently came across this awesome piece of drum history and for the whopping price of $18, I immediately knew I had to have it and that it was old and had a story to tell. Being from the 1930s, it's seen more than its fair share of life and has all the character to explain it. The nickel lugs and hoops are very dated as well as the piss yellow wrap blown out in some spots and the tension rods and snare strainer parts that are caked in rust. In other words, a perfect project for me and a way to pass the weekend. I begin the process by disassembling it all and inspecting the parts and shell along the way. So far it seems to be in decent condition and in round. Also it's all there or at least what I need to make it playable again. After getting the heads off, I use a flathead screwdriver to remove the screws that hold on the lugs. There were a few pieces that had nuts to secure them, so I used an adjustable wrench to help remove them. With a basic strip down complete, I can then inspect the wrap and the edges. Other than being extremely dry to the touch, they seem to be in good condition. The major issue with this lies underneath the badge, which I barely touched and this happened, revealing a split in the wood. Not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. Somehow it still has some meat there, so I'm going to glue it back as best I can. Using a razor blade, I carefully separate the plies in the wood so that I can get the glue down in the hole to help create a secure bond. Before clamping it down, I also take a few scrap pieces of wood to help brace the shell as the glue dries and also spread the load of the clamp as to not damage any more of the shell or the outer wrap. With that needing plenty of time to dry, I now focus my attention on getting these parts into some evaporust and letting it do its thing. After allowing the shell to dry for a full 24 hours and that glue to really set up and set in, I now worry about the wrap. I'm just going to take some contact cement on a brush and lift up the wrap, applying it to the shell and the underside of the wrap, letting it dry to the touch before pressing it down, only focusing on one part at a time as to not get ahead of myself.
After getting one side glued up, I then clamp it down with the help of popsicle sticks to spread the load of the clamps out evenly amongst the wrap to keep it as flat as possible. After letting that dry for a few hours, I then repeat the process on the other side of the wrap and again for the piece of wrap that was underneath where the badge went. And in giving that time to dry as well, I get everything out of the evaporust bath and clean it up to prepare it to go back onto the shell. But before I can do that, I do need to clean up the shell as best as possible. Unfortunately, there's no way I'm going to get the yellowing and aging out of the wrap. So I just clean it up the best I can using a magic eraser and some soapy water. I also take some slightly damp paper towels and wipe the inside of the shell out. Then as always, I follow up with some Vader's drum polish before putting everything back on. I decided on just gluing this badge back into place uh, to keep it as original as possible and not have to do anything else to the wood itself. So I apply some glue to the wrap itself along with the back of the badge before pressing it back into place. After that's done and just before I put the lugs back on, I do need to clean out the threads on the inside using some Q-tips. And last but not least, running over the rims quickly with some silver polish and steel wool. Um, something is better than nothing and I didn't want to just leave them. If you have a good cleaner for nickel, please comment below. And with putting the old heads that came on the drum back onto it, since they didn't seem like they seen any wear or tear really, I seat the heads and finger tighten all the lugs down on both sides first before tightening down and tuning it up for its final play. And I needed some snare straps real quick, so I just made some out of an old head that I had laying around. With no epic reveal, because in all honesty, it is what it is, it is a 90 year old snare drum. It is very far from an immaculate condition, but it was in a condition good enough for me to want to bring it home and preserve a piece of drum history. And sure, I did pay a certain price for it, but something like this to me is priceless. It's not always the resale value of an item, but the value of history that an item holds. I feel like the universe knows that I understand that, and that's why I get lucky sometimes finding cool things like this. That being said, I was lucky enough to find this needle in a haystack, so I'm gonna keep it, thread it, and sew some awesomeness. That's it for this one. Here's a little playthrough. And until next time, drums, drums, drums.